prepare the tools for work. Check the status of interlock lever. If the interlock lever is not fully raised, insert the VCB again so that the interlock bar is locked well. If it has failed to close the VCB while the interlock lever is fully raised, please extract the VCB from the cradle and check whether the interlock bar under the VCB is bent or not. Check the position indicator and the truck screw to check the position of VCB body. Use the draw in-out handle and rotate clockwise until the indicator shows S completely. If spring charging is inoperative electrically, pull out the control jack and check whether the pin number 1, 2 are pushed back. If not, Check that the rated voltage is applied on number 1, 2 of panel jack. If the rated voltage is applied, check operation and the connection status of the motor switch. And check the connection status of motor socket and pin position too. If closing coil is inoperative, pull out the control jack and check whether the pin number 6, 7 are pushed back. And check that the rated voltage is applied on number 6, 7 of panel jack. If the rated voltage is applied, check socket connection status of closing coil in VCB and pin position. If trip coil is inoperative, pull out the control jack and check whether the pin number 4 or 5 are pushed back. And check that the rated voltage is applied on number 4 or 5 of panel jack. If the rated voltage is applied, check socket connection status of trip coil in VCB and pin position. If UVR pickup is inoperative, pull out the control jack and check whether the pin number 6263 are pushed back. And check that the rated voltage is applied on number 6263 of panel jack. If the rated voltage is applied, check socket connection status of UVR in VCB and pin position.